the second relief feature, physical feature, endocampic plate. Endocampic plate. How this is a plate form? When the Himalayas are covered up, when the Himalayas are raised as a golden mountains, so that time, here to the south of the Himalayas, a shallow basin was here is left due to the rising of the Himalayas. So thereafter, so which are the so rivers are here starting from the Himalayan mountains, such as Indus River, Ganga River, Brahmaputra River. These rivers are broad as silt. So these this is a plain is formed by the Himalayan rivers. That means there is a close interaction is there, the relation is there between the Himalayan rivers and the indo gangetic plain. So this is the western part formed by the Indus River, central part formed by the Ganga River, and the eastern part in Assam formed by the like here is western part, so which is the Indus River in here, here is. So due to this is the Indus River and its tributaries, the western part is formed. So what are the tributaries of Indus River means Jilam, China, Brahmi, Bees, Sutlaj, like these are the tributaries. But the most of this the plain is situated in the Pakistan. So a few portion is only left in the India. Most of its plain is situated in the Pakistan. So here we can see there is a two of features are there. Two of features. That means the fertile land between the two rivers, the rich fertile land between the two rivers is known as do ab. Such a features are also we can able to see. For example, Panch are Panch Pai rivers of Panch of Panch of Panchab. Like the name is also here is a derived Panchab. And in the Pakistan also there is a Panchab. In India also the Punjab province, the Punjab state. So that's again is the Indus river is part for the formation of uh, western part. And then, which is the central part is there here is, this is the central part. So mostly formed uh, due to the, so Ganga river and its uh, tributaries, and its tributaries. So here is Ganga plain is, I mean central plain, central plain, so situated between the Ghagra River to Tisa River. Ghagra River to Tisa River. It is a plain is a situated central part. And so this is the plain is mostly situated in the states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, partly in the Haryana, Jharkhand, and in the West Bengal, this is the plain is situated. Ganga, Yamuna, and their uh, tributaries of uh, Son, Kosi, like all these uh, tributaries are flowing, and thus central part of the Ganga plain is uh, formed. And next part is the eastern part. Eastern part is mostly formed uh, due to the so Brahmaputra river. This is Brahmaputra river. This. Brahmaputra, it is started nearby the Manas Sarovar and flowing towards the east and entering in the natural place. Here is it is the river is called the Ang River. Thereafter, so entered in the Bangladesh and joins the Bay of Bengal after matching with the Ganga River. So in Bangladesh it is to be known Patma River. So mostly which is the Assam plain is there, there is Assam plain is formed by the, and the eastern part of the plain is formed by the so, 
the river and this is the river is also passed from the floods uh, in the Assam Valley. Indo Ganges plain divided into a three parts based on the location. Again, this the plain is divided into a three parts based on the geomorphological differences, topographical differences, surface differences. So, thus here is the first Babar, where it is situated. So, which of the Shivalik Sahadevi here is runs from west to east, outer Himalayas. At the foot of the Shivalis, 8 to 16 kilometers a wide so, pebbles, gravels, studded porous zone that is to be called Babar. Now to the south of the Babar, so Babar, to the south of the Babar, Chara is the, Chara means a marshy swamp lands which is formed by the Himalayan rivers regularly creating a flood. Due to the creation of a flood regularly, then we can see there is a marshy and a swamp lands are there. That means always a wet condition of the soils are there presented to the south of the Baba. Thereafter, we can see there is a Bangar. So, Bangar plain, this is the Bangar plain is a Composed with the alluvial soils, the two world alluvium and newer alluvium, and this is the Bangar is very rich in the alluvium and cause for the agricultural development of the plain, Ganga plain. Agricultural prosperity is mostly caused by this is the so alluvium soils of Banga. Like we can see, there is a surface differences are there in the indo gangetic plane. Topographical differences are there in the indo gangetic plane. That is Babar, that is Babar, Terai and Bangar. However, it is the plane is producing agricultural products immensely.